Hi everyone and welcome to the Canadian Redneck Channel. My name's Dave and today we have, uh, well, got a broken spindle. Customer dropped this off and asked me to fix this for him. I thought it'd be a good opportunity to show how to change and pack wheel bearings. So we'll get to taking this apart and putting new pieces in as we go. Alright, we'll get the broken piece of spindle out now. And we'll have to get the nut off of that to go in the new spindle when we put it back together. But we can set that aside for now and worry about that later. So we'll use a punch from the other side and just catch the edge of the bearing race and knock it out. There it is. There we go. Now we'll flip it over and knock out the race out of the front side also. seal goes on. Now is the messy part of the job. We take our wheel bearing and pack it. Got some just regular wheel bearing grease here. Scoop some up in your hands and you Make sure you pack all the way around the side, so it's in. Make sure you pack it in, so it's all the way in around on the side of the bearings there, and then on the back side as well. Pack it right in. And then I like to take and all the way around on the outside of the bearing, fill it even full with the rollers. Make sure it's got a good coat of grease all the way around it. And the same with the front bearing as well. Spindle down through. There we are. It's a tabbed washer, so you make sure you get the tab and the keyway for it. You just tighten the knot up so that there's no wiggle and it doesn't cause resistance in the bearings to turning it so they should turn freely. And then 
you find your cotter pin hole and put the cotter pin in. Alright, then our cotter pin goes through. super tight it doesn't hold anything hope you've enjoyed the video on uh, changing wheel bearings and packing wheel bearings and uh, as always like subscribe share have a great day